welcome to the Trimlight Edge Custom Palette Program video. Make sure you are connected. Open Trimlight Edge app. Tap on the controller window you are programming and it will open right to the custom palette indicated by the icon at the bottom left of your screen. The custom palette screen is one of the most exciting features of your new Trimlight system as it allows you to customize numerous options of colors, patterns, animations, and color zones to meet any unique need or style of lighting that you can imagine. At the top, you see the color palette. The colors contained within the gray box are the common default colors and cannot be changed. The color spaces outside the gray box can be changed to any custom color by simply long pressing on any circle. A menu pops up and you can drag your finger through the spectrum to tune in any of 16 million custom colors and hues. As you drag your finger across the spectrum, the lights on your house will correspond to where you touch so you can see which custom color you like. You can also look up RGB codes online and type in specific color codes you want. There is a slide bar here to dim your custom color. Once you find your custom color, click OK and that color will save to that circle. Then you can drag that custom color into the sequence section for the pattern you are creating. Right under the color palette, you will see a drop down menu that has pre populated patterns for every major holiday. This list is for convenience and provides useful starting points for customizing your own holiday patterns. For example, you can open a preset holiday, make changes to the existing color scheme and sequence, then overwrite that holiday or save that pattern under a new name. Just below the holiday drop-down menu, you see the sequence section with six circles. This is where you can set up your own color patterns and sequences. To start, select any preset holiday, then simply drag and drop the colors you want from the color palette at the top down into any of the circles in the sequence section. If you click the down arrow just below the sequence section, it opens up, giving you the ability to program up to 30 different colors. Once you have picked your colors, you can now choose the quantity of each color you want in the sequence up to 90 per circle. Simply touch any of the spaces in the sequence section and type in your desired quantity for each color. Keep in mind, you must have at least a value of 1 in each circle or that color will not show. It is important to understand that the black circle in the color palette represents black or blank. You can use black to create spaces without light on the sequence section. For example, in the summer you could turn your lights on to warm white and put a space of one or more blanks between lights to make the lights look more like accent lighting. Depending on the size of your home, you may also be able to create color zones on your home to light up different sections of your roof line to different colors by counting out segments and assigning colors to those segments. Another great feature is the red X option. Dragging this option down into your pattern allows you to permanently turn off a section of lights on your home when using that pattern. For example, you could create a pattern across the front of your home, but X out the light section over a bedroom window. You could save the pattern as Do Not Disturb, and now you have the ability to still have lights on, but not disturb someone trying to sleep in that bedroom. Below the sequence section, you will find the animation drop-down menu. There are several different animations to choose from. We encourage you to explore them on your own to find which animations you like the best. Remember that the static option means the colors remain solid with no movement. The animations you choose can be applied to any color pattern within the color palette screen, whether it is a preset holiday or a customized pattern you created. Just remember, for animated patterns, you will typically need to program longer sequences of lights. For example, 
Comet will not work if you only have one light for each color. You would want to put in possibly five or more lights to get the Comet effect. Keep in mind, certain patterns may not function as expected based on how you program them and the output settings that were set up during installation. Once you have your color pattern and scheme set up how you like, you have the option to dim the brightness of your lights and speed up or slow down your animations by using the sliders located just below the animation drop-down menu. If you create an animated pattern, slide the speed bar to the slowest setting and still feel the animation is too fast, simply go in and increase the number of lights for each color section you have. This will give the appearance of a slower moving pattern. After setting up your pattern and animation how you want, tap the save bottom in the bottom right corner and you are given two options. Selecting save as will allow you to create a name for your new pattern and it will save to your library. Or selecting cover will save the pattern under the same name that is already in the preset pattern you started from. That's all for setting up colors and patterns for your trim light system. Please go to the Trim Light Edge preset programming video next.